Good morning, Year One. Today in English, we're going to carry on our work on the snail and the whale, and we're going to use the book to inspire our letter writing. So, before we write a letter, we need to know what a letter is, and we need to know what features it needs, needs to have. So, I've got a letter that my daughter wrote to her Auntie Claire after Christmas, and I wonder if you can have a go at reading this letter first. Now, if you really want to challenge yourself, you could read through the whole letter. Or if you're finding it a bit tricky, perhaps you could spot some words you know or sound out some of the words in the letter. Pause the video and have a go at reading it now. I wonder how you did. Let's read it together. Dear Auntie Claire, thank you for the present. I loved it. I had fun at home on Christmas Day. Did you have a good day too? Love, Eve. So this was a thank you letter my daughter wrote. Now I wonder if you can spot some of the features of a letter. So we did do letter writing in the autumn term. Can you remember some of the things you need to include to make it a letter? Pause the video and have a go now. Well, I wonder if you notice that a letter always starts with a greeting and it says either to or dear at the top. So it's, that's who the letter is addressed to, who it's for, who the person writing it wants to read it. So then in your letter, you have to share some information. So that's the reason we write a letter, we want to share some information with somebody. Um, also in a letter, you may include a question. And you can see there's a question at the end there. And we know it's a question because the person reading it could give an answer to it. They could write back maybe with an answer. And we've got a question mark at the end. And then finally, in a simple letter like this, we would have the sign off. And that is where the person writing says who the letter's from. And here it says, love Eve. So we're going to try and include all those features in our letter writing today. So going back to our story, the snail and the whale, at one point in the story, the whale gets stuck on the beach and he can't get back in the sea. So the snail goes all the way up to the village school and writes a message on the blackboard, save the whale. Today, I want you to pretend that you're the snail and instead of writing a message on a blackboard, you're going to write a letter to the children asking them for help. Um, so you need to remember all the features of letter writing. We also need to remember our non-negotiables. So I wonder if you can remember what they are, all the things we try and remember in year one when we're doing our writing. Pause the video and tell your grown up now. How did you do? Did you remember we need to use full stops? We need to use capital letters. We need to use our sounding out, our finger spaces, and we try and use our cursive handwriting, starting each letter on the line. So I'm going to have a go at writing the letter from the snail to the children in the classroom. And I'm going to try and remember all the features I need and the non-negotiables. So to start with, I have to write my greeting, which is Dear Children. Dear children, because that's who I'm writing to. Now I'm going to start on the next line and I'm going to include some information. Now I need to let the children know the whale's stuck. If he stays on the beach, he'll die. He needs to get off quickly. So I'm going to think of a sentence. I'm going to say, my friend, the whale, is stuck on the beach. I need to count the words in that sentence, so I write every word. My friend, the whale, is stuck on 
the beach. Nine words, I need to remember all of them. So I'm going to start with the word my, and that's a tricky word. And friend, that's another tricky word we learn in year one to spell. My friend, the. I think lots of people can spell that in year one. I hope you can. My friend, the whale. W ale is stuck, stuck, stuck on. I remember my finger space each time on the beach, the each. But I've got my e digraph. But each beach. Does it make sense? Have I forgotten any words? My friend the whale is stuck on the beach. I'm going to say he needs to go back in the water quickly. So I'm going to count the words in my sentence. He needs to go back in the sea quickly. So that's nine words as well. Now, what do I need after a, a full stop? I need my capital letter. So that's my capital H. He. He needs. N e d s. He needs two. That's another word we learn in year one, so that's good practice. He needs to go. He needs to go back. I'm going to use my sounding out for that. Back. Back. He needs to go back in the sea -E quickly. It's quite tricky, but I can have a go at sounding that out. Quickly. And what do I need at the end of a sentence? Full stop. Okay, let's read that. My friend the whale is stuck on the beach. He needs to go back in the sea quickly. I think that's all the information they need at the minute. I'm going to end with a question. Can you come and help him? Start with my capital C. C -an. Can. In the finger space. You. Another finger space. Come and help help him. Can you come and help him? Now, what do I need at the end of a question? Not a full stop this time. A question mark. Okay, and to finish my letter, I'm going to use my sign off. So I'm not writing from me, I'm going to write from, I'm writing from Snail's point of view. So I'm going to write from Snail, from Snail. And I'm using a capital for his name there, because that's his name. So let's read it through to check our work. Dear children, my friend the whale is stuck on the beach. He needs to go back in the sea quickly. Can you come and help him? From Snail. So, have I included a greeting? Yep, yeah, I have. I've put dear children as my greeting. I've included the information I want the children to know about the whale being stuck. I've asked a question. And at the end. And I've included a sign off. So I've included all the features I need for my letter. So your job today is to write a letter from the snail to the children. You have to pretend to be the snail. You need to include the features of a letter, the greeting, information, maybe a question and the sign off and use your non-negotiables. If you want to, you could write a letter from the snail asking for help like I did, 
Or maybe you could write a thank you letter from the snail to the children after they do help them save the whale. Good luck with your letter writing and we would love to see your work.